Hi. In this Blender tutorial, I demonstrate you that how we can create some parametric shapes and design. So, let's get into it. Now, here I have a new file and I'm pressing A and deleting all. We don't need anything. Okay, go to top view by pressing 7 on the numpad. Press Shift A and add a circle. And under this menu, under the vertices, press 6. So we have a hexagon. Okay, now press Tab to enter the edit mode and press E and scale it in a little like that okay and while our selection is highlighted go to that triangle green triangle and under the vertex group section add a new vertex group you can name it selection and press assign so if we deselect all uh, and press that select button make sure your selection is highlighted okay we back to the object mode now we have to duplicate it many times so i'm gonna use a uh, array modifier so to do that i'm just pressing it 20 times like that okay and duplicate it by pressing shift d moving a little to snap it uh, change to incremental to vertex okay and while i'm pressing control i'm snapping my object like that okay press shift d again shift d you can make as many copies as you like i think that will do okay now i'm selecting all and to apply the array modifier at once to all that my created objects i'm just going to the object convert and convert to the mesh okay you can see that my modifier is applied now i'm um, again selecting all and press ctrl j to make them join in a one object like here okay and if we enter to the edit mode you can see that all the are selection is ready now i back to the object mode and add a shape key add an other another shape key name key one okay now make sure that your selection is highlighted if not you can press that select button and change the into the individual origin now you can scale it to the zero if you like zero or i like that kind of effect okay now if i move that value button we can see that our part is working okay right now while selected add a, another vertex group here and add go to tab tab and edit mode press a to select all and assign it okay now make sure that new group is selected and go to weight paint mode now you can see that our object is appearing red that means it's applying the weight paint to the whole our whole object to not do that go to the weight menu and press invert now it's blue so uh, if you want you can just uh, have a gradient and use it and uh, uh, make sure you don't have linear you have radial and like that like that and I'm just clicking and dragging okay okay now uh, if we go back to the object mode and under the, in in the shape key under key one you can see the vertex group now change it to group one which which is this and now if we okay you can see here and if you don't like that just go to the uh, weight paint mode 
and just make it weight invert so object mode and you can see that we can switch here so you can use it for your sci-fi scenes your architecture designs and all that stuff so uh, I hope you like it and just that's for all my name is Harish Lohar thank you very much